Hey Scrappers, Moose here. So, number one, sorry that this video looks like you're looking up at me. My tripod is short. Um, I haven't grown at all. Oh, at least, not height ways. Um, so this video is going to be part two in the processing IC chips. Uh, it's going to be incinerating. Uh, sorry, no it's not. I know I've got a, a few people out there, especially one, Francois, who's uh, really anxious to see that second video come out. It's coming, I'm working on it. Um, but this one is going to be on silver recovery from um, silver plated spoons and knives and forks and things like that. So what, what spawned this was um, this summer I got a huge load of um, utensils and stuff from a huge yard sale. Uh, it was literally an entire truckload full and as I was going through this I was finding tons and tons and tons of silver plated stuff and I've never really been able to recover that stuff. Um, I saw a video on YouTube from a guy named Guy Foster, I believe his name, where he showed how to create a, a reverse uh, electroplating cell um, with basically just salt water and, and you know a, a car charger or a battery charger. That, that's about it. So what I did was uh, I tried to replicate everything that was in this video, and I failed. So this video is pretty much going to be showing you a failed process. Uh, so make sure you get that before you continue watching. Uh, there's going to be a lot of useful information in here, though, so I would really suggest you watch it you know, from beginning to end. Try not to skip around. I'll try not to have diarrhea of the mouth and keep it fairly short. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you what I've got here for my setup, uh, what you need to, to get this going, and uh, we'll go from there. Alright, so what I've got here on the table, I've got, um, we'll start off with, with what uh, Mr. Foster used. He had a plastic measuring cup. Uh, I made sure to get a cup that was the same size, uh, so that the distance between the cathode and anode would be the same. Uh, but I used glass instead, because this does heat up a little bit, and I'm more comfortable using glass, plus glass is an insulator, plastic is too. Um, but I just chose to use glass. You're also going to need some clips to hold um, your stainless steel and your silver plated item in place. All right. You're going to need regular table salt. That's the electrolyte. There we go. Now, as far as the charger goes, uh, he had a Schwinn or a Schumann or something uh, that was a 12 volt 6 amp, and his experiment appeared to work just fine. Um, I don't have one. I went to Harbor Freight, he even suggested this in his video, and picked up actually a couple of chargers and they didn't work for one reason, and you need to be very cautious of this before you, you know, try this. Um, they all had the same warning on the actual unit that wasn't mentioned anywhere on the packaging or on the website, is that they don't work until they're hooked up to battery terminals, which means that they won't work for this experiment. Um, I'm not quite sure why, but with this set, this is uh, this was like 20 bucks at Harbor Freight as well. It's Semtech, which was the same brand as the other ones. But this is a, this one doesn't have that warning on it. However, it is uh, much lower amperage. I think it's like less than one amp. Uh, still 12 volts. But I was able to get a bit of a reaction. Maybe that's why this isn't working for me because it's not enough of a reaction. Uh, for me, it appeared to just really highly oxidize the silver. It didn't really look like there was anything in there, uh, but we'll get to that. Alright, so first what we're going to do is we're going to put in some salt. He eyeballed it. He said about two tablespoons. Alright, so that's about how much salt I'm putting in there. I'm going to put some warm water. So the water is pretty much up to the top. Stir that up a little bit, make sure all that salt is dissolved. All right, so this is the stainless steel knife, which is supposed to be on one side. So I've got that in there, clamped down. And then on the other side, you want to have your silver plated item. So I'm going to take Let's use this one, this little spoon right here. So 
So I'm going to put this on this side. Clamp it in, make sure it's clamped in nice and snug. It doesn't move around. Alright, so the next step is to hook up the terminals. So this is going to go black to stainless steel and red to silver. Alright. Now I'm going to go over here and actually plug this in. Here we go. Plug it. All right. So now I am going to try and zoom in on this. So as you can see, there's some bubbling going on. There's a reaction. All right. Now in his video, he said about six or seven minutes, and the plating on the silver plated item is loose enough. So that he can just scrape it right off. Well, I wasn't able to replicate that anywhere nearly as much with these. Um, all that happened for me was each item turned black, which again could be oxidation, I'm not quite sure. Um, and the water turned a rust color. So why that happened, I'm not quite sure. But we're going to let this go and we'll come back in about, uh, we'll give it 10 minutes. And then we'll come back. Alright, so it's been exactly 10 minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kill the power to this. Alright. And I'm going to pull out the silver. Now, as you can see, it's turned black. Alright. At this point, what... Um, the guy in the video that I watched was able to do was basically just scrape silver off and I'm not really able to do that. There's not, I mean I'm scraping a little bit of that black stuff off but when I um, I did all of these spoons down here um, did one, two, three, four, five of them and I didn't have anything significant at the bottom, and according to, the, to what this guy had done, he was getting almost uh, 0.75 grams per utensil. So, I, I gotta say that my results are, are very, very, very different. So, again, nothing is flaking off after 10 minutes, which is more than what he had for 7. Uh, so, you know, I, I'm not really sure what I'm doing wrong here. So, I, my, my next guess would be to, you know, get a different charger that's 12 volt 6 amps instead of 0.75 um, amps. So a few more things. So a couple of quick things um, that, I, that I wanted to, to know. Um, certain variables that could make this experiment either work or not work. Uh, first being, th there's different types of stainless steel. So for that anode or cathode, I'm not quite sure which one it is in there. Um, but the stainless steel component that you're supposed to have, there's stainless, there's non-magnetic stainless, there's, I mean, even stainless steel from the 1960s is different than current stainless steel. Some stainless steel will rust, some won't. It's just the quality of the stainless steel is different. So I'm not sure what he used uh, or if that makes a difference. Next is, of course, you know, the voltage and the amps. I've got 12 volts, uh, 0.75 amps. He had 12 volts, 6 amps. So to me that's the next biggest thing that would make a difference here. The next thing of course is the base metals. Silver plated items, um, there's a lot of things that can be under that silver. Uh, you could have you know, stainless steel or iron. Um, in, in most uh, like butter knives, like this one I, I tried to take the plate off and it, and it didn't work. Um, so like in, in this butter knife this is stainless steel from tip to toe uh, but just from here to there it's silver plated so that might react different than something that is silver plated brass or silver plated copper or even silver plated nickel silver which is um, uh, it's got copper and tin and 
I think nickel in it. It's it's not real silver, but it's got it's an alloy of several different metals. So why am I making this video? Well, the reason I'm making this video is because for every video that I put out there of how to do something, I get you know a thousand questions on how else I could do it or if something else could work. So this video is basically showing you, you know, kind of what goes behind what I go through when I'm making these videos, trying to find processes that work, um, and sh you know, basically how not to do it. Um, and it also opens up the discussion to help me figure out what I'm doing wrong. So everyone benefits. So if we look back at the um, at the uh, the measuring cup. After just one, the water didn't change too much, but after a couple, the water turns like a rust color. And there's really nothing going on with the, with the butter knife. Um, after a few of them, a little bit of a black film starts to develop on it, which I'm hoping is silver. Uh, but it's such a tiny, tiny amount uh, that I don't know that, it, that it's worth it. So, again, there's other things that I suppose could be problematic. Um, is the tarnish on the spoons a problem? Should that be cleaned first? Uh, I completely cleaned this one up, polished it up. So that one I'm going to try next, but I don't know that that would make a huge difference. Um, this one clearly was brass underneath it. You can see all the, uh, the green from the copper coming out. But still, no silver came off of this one, and it is silver plate. All right, so that's the first video on this. Hopefully, my next video will actually be a success, and I'll be able to point out why this didn't work and how to get it to work. Uh, hopefully, if Guy Foster or whoever that, the guy was is watching this, maybe he can, you know, better clarify why this didn't work. Um, so I'd like to know. I've got a bunch of silver plated stuff that I'd like to recover the silver from. And especially now, since I'm officially on foot, my truck just died. Um, good times. So, thanks for watching. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe. And that next IC chip video should be coming out soon. Fingers crossed. I'm all set up to do it. Um, you know, I just gotta get it done. First, I gotta find some wheels. So, again, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.